Your first visit to China was in 1974, and since then you've been making a lot of efforts to develop scientific relations between UK and China. Can you talk a little bit more on that? The transformation of, of, of science in China between 1974 mm -hmm. and now is just extraordinary. Um, science is now a central part of the future of the world, but especially of, of China. And the quality of science, and the progress of science in China is remarkable. Now for a decade on, I assume there must be some achievements you want to talk about. Well, the principal achievements, frankly, of science in China, in my opinion, have been the commitment to openness and engagement and exchange with the rest of the world. China could have retreated, kept its scientific development to itself, but it didn't. And one of the reasons for that is that there were so many people who left China and came back and developed the, those links between science in China and the rest of the world. So the openness, the efforts towards openness in science in China, I think, are really admirable. What impresses you most when you look back at the trajectory of this country's development during the past few decades? Well, obviously, the speed of development is one of the main impressions. But the resilience and the commitment of Chinese scientists and the Chinese government to develop science is so impressive. China came from such a low base only 50, 50 years ago, and it now competes with the scientific leadership of the rest of the world. That required great motivation, you know, great commitment, and great energy from the Chinese people.